today I set myself a little challenge. I'm gonna spend exactly one hour trying to get as many banger macro photos as possible. And the definition of a banger in this video is a photo that I would feel proud of enough to post it on Instagram as my work. So let's start the timer and let's start the counter and let's go. Okay, one hour starting now. And I'm using the regular stuff I usually use these days. OM1, um, Godox V350, Cygnus Tech Diffuser, and the 60mm Olympus lens, and the Raynox 250 filter. And I found a pretty nice spot around here with like a small meadow, some shade, some sun. Should be able to find some interesting insects here, I hope. And I'm gonna start by this tree here because when I passed the last time I saw a couple of weevils. See if there are any insects here. Here is one. No, oh, he fell off. And I just started with back button out of focus. Takes a bit getting used to, but I think it's probably the best thing you can do on the Olympus camera because the autofocus is pretty good and I can just use it once to set the focus roughly and then you can do the rest by moving the camera and by having it as a back button oh we have a green guy here I was thinking of focus bracketing, but he's, he's so small, I don't think we need to. There's an ant. Oops, he crawled onto my hand. Okay. <laughs> oh, here's another insect. Some kind of... No, he fell off. A lot of insects tend to just, um, when they see you approach, they just uh, hop off the leaf, fall onto the ground, and then I'm pretty much always too lazy to try to find them. Um, I think photography should be convenient, so I mainly look in a convenient height and what I find, I find. And what I don't find, I don't find. <laughs> but this tree was a pretty good spot to find insects. I'm gonna stay here for a while, I think. Five minutes have passed. There's another ant.
Seems to be eating something. Not sure what though. Okay, hopefully I got one good shot. Another black ant. Okay, I'm gonna let him run away. Oh, here's some kind of slimy thing. No idea what it is. Well, nothing too interesting. Oh, here we have something. Looks like a ladybug larva. Yes, indeed. And here we have something as well. Some kind of courtship. <laughs> I did a lot of focus stacking on my last walk. I focus stacked pretty much everything. And it was pretty painful because when I got home I had 1,600 photos to go through and that was yeah, a pain. And trying to, trying to get these stacks to work. Here we have another guy. No, he fell off. That was a species I haven't photographed, I think. At least in a while. Um, so today I'm not doing too much focus stacking. Only I'm only gonna do it if I find something that sits really still. Otherwise I'm just gonna take mostly single shots. Because, yeah, I mean photography is supposed to be fun and 1600 photos is not fun to go through. Especially when you need to try to make them into stacks and most of them fail. <laughs> This was a really good tree. Lots of insects. But let's move on for a little while to get some variation and then we, we might come back. We have 51 minutes left. Here we have something. Oops. He fell off. Today I'm in Nakka in a nature reserve, pretty close to where I live, but it was like half hour bus ride and then half hour walk. Um, I walked around for a bit found this small meadow close to a lake and uh, thought that this is probably a good place to find insects because it's close to water, lots of grass, lots of trees, some shade, some sun. Places like these are usually good spots for insects and for insect photography. Sometimes when I'm not finding anything I just sit down like this and, and look around. I see a spider and he saw me as well. <laughs> Not sure where he went. 
Yeah, he's gone. Terry sees something else. That was also very skittish. Oh, a jumping spider. Oh man, first one I see this year. Come on, auto focus. Ah, let's see if we can get a better shot. And he jumped away. Too bad. I think it was even a species I haven't photographed. Well, well. At least I got a shot uh, to see what species it was. I think I might return here someday. Maybe I'll get him then. <laughs> Forty-eight minutes left. <clears throat> There's a small ant, but he's so fast, and now he ran off. <coughs> See some small eggs here, but they are not that pretty, so I'm not gonna photograph them. An extremely tiny beetle of some sort. Here we have something. Okay, he flew away. <laughs> There are a lot of insects here. This is probably a much better spot than around my house where I would usually do my photo walks. So it might be worth taking a bus ride sometimes when I have the time. Nothing on this tree. I don't see much here either. Let's go back to the first spot. That was the best spot so far, I think. Look around a bit more there. Forty-five minutes left. There was something there, something very small, not sure what, but it ran away. <laughs> 
Ooh, there are lots of people. Or not people, but something. <laughs> I'm so bad at insects. Please tell me what this is. Some kind of larvas, pupas, what do you say? They are not that pretty, but they are interesting because I don't really recognize them. And they are sitting so cutely in a bunch like this. something. This looks like a skittish guy. Let's see if we can get him to stay. Interesting. I don't think I photographed this species before. What is this? Please tell me. Still getting used to back button autofocus, but the, the focus is really good. It usually nails it really well, and I haven't even configured it that well. I think. I don't think I even have eye auto detect. Not sure if it would detect insect eyes though. Really happy that this guy stayed around. Always exciting when you photograph. A species for the first time. Okay, the autofocus is not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. And now I think I'm happy. I think I got at least one really good shot there that I'm happy with. Let's see what else we can find. Forty-one minutes left here is a small bug I switched to bracketing mode and then all of a sudden he started moving. No bracket for you. This tree is really a gold mine. Oh no! If you away. Interesting. Uh, in Swedish we call them stekel. Not sure what the English word is. Here is another guy. He is so quick. And now I flew away. Not sure if I got a, got a decent shot. Here we have another guy. <laughs> Looks very similar.
Are you siblings? To get a good angle. But I do feel that the button for autofocus is not super convenient. I think I will try to switch to another button when I get home. Because it strains my hand a bit. Here we have copulating couple again. It's the same guys maybe as last time. <laughs> I'm not sure. And now they're really in action. Sorry for the privacy invasion. I need to practice a bit at first doing the focus and then moving the camera because now I tend to rely only on the focus and that's not good. I think the best thing is a combination to kind of fine-tune while moving the camera. I think that is probably the best focusing method. It's just so new to me with autofocus for macro photography and especially back button autofocus. Oh, here is something interesting. Let's see if we can... Oh, this is a beautiful... No! You flew away. Damn. That was a beautiful insect. Not sure what though, but... See several ants here, but I already photographed so many ants and they are so hard to photograph, so I'm trying to focus on other things. 37 minutes left. Let's go, let's switch place a bit again. Let's go back to where we found the jumping spider. Maybe there are more. And, or maybe the guy I tried to photograph jumped up on the grass again. Such a perfect day today. Sunny, 20 degrees, not too windy. There are not that many days in a year like this here in Sweden. There is something here. It fell off. Or I guess it was probably intentional because it didn't want to be photographed by a giant more black ants another bug that jumped off here we have something else that also did not want to be photographed. Here we have another guy. That also did not want to be photographed. Hmm. 
here we have another guy. What's this? Some kind of fly. Beautiful fly. Not too skittish. It's unusual for flies to be okay with you photographing them this close. So I always try to take the opportunity. Please stay to the end of the video because then I will present my favorite shots after looking at them in the computer. I mean, indoors Michael will present them. Oh, I had focus speaking turned off. I thought something was weird. Now I have it on again. It's a lot easier to get the focus right. Okay, I, I think I have at least one good shot now. I think I will attempt to do some bracketing as well. Because here we have a very chill subject. Okay, let's try one more. Is that okay with you? Okay. Thirty two minutes left. Oh, here we have the beautiful wasp like thing again. Can we get a shot? Ah, I lost him. Too bad. But it's amazing how many insects you can find in, in half an hour when you're in a good spot in a good time of the year. It's crazy. There is something here. Another mating couple. Try not to disturb them too much. Okay, I think I got one decent shot. I will let you continue now. <laughs> Here is another couple of the same species. But I already have a shot. There is a fly. Is it the same fly I photographed earlier? <laughs> it's the same species at least. And he flew away. Oh, I see something there. Small, one of these small black 
bugs. These are really common in Sweden, at least around here. See them every time I go out shooting. Pretty hard to get a beautiful shot of them though. There's another one of them. I won't bother. I have enough photos already <laughs> of these guys. Let's look a little bit more in this direction. 28 minutes left. No, that was something interesting, not sure what, but it fell off. I started wearing rubber boots. I figured um, might help against ticks, somewhat at least. And also, even though I never stepped on a snake or even saw a venomous snake, it feels good to have some kind of protection in case I would step on one. Here we have a weevil, I think. Yes, let me get the shot, please. Weevils are so beautiful. Wow. I'm gonna try to stack this one because usually they are pretty still. This one is so beautiful with this almost like golden color. Okay, I think I got one good stack, I hope. Should at least have gotten a good photo. This was probably my favorite insect to find so far, because I think they are so beautiful. So many details, so beautiful colors. And also they are usually very cooperative. They don't try to run away, they just take it easy. At least the big ones. Twenty four minutes left. Oh, 
Oh, another bug. Oops, I was still in stacking mode. Oh, <laughs> let me exit. Now. But now he also exited. He's gone. Well, well. Maybe there was a good photo in that stack. Another mating couple. I won't bother. I already have photos of your friends. There's a single one of the same species. Hmm, what's this? An ant. Won't bother with you either. What would really make my day at this point would be to find another jumping spider again and get a good photo. The one I saw was the first one I saw this year. So hard to find them around here. Or maybe also the season hasn't been right. They usually like it pretty warm. And it hasn't been that warm until last few days. But this place was a really good spot. I'm already thinking of going back here soon. Also, no people around. I like that. I can just work without getting bothered <laughs> by people. Oh, Italian striped bug. One of my favorite insects and I think it's the first one I see this year. Can we please get you to turn around? They are so beautiful. But he, he wants to go down. Problem is also that the sun is shining on him. I'm gonna try to block that because it makes it too bright for this shutter speed that I have to use. Let's see if we can get a good angle. Oh man, this was a difficult guy. He only wanna show his underside to me. Which is beautiful, I guess, but I want to see his face. Now we're talking. But most of all I would like a focus stack. Maybe that's too much to ask for. I think so, he's so quick, so energetic. Still feel like I haven't gotten a really good shot. That one was good. I think that one was decent. I'm gonna let him be now. Hopefully I got one good shot. And if not, I have other shots <laughs> of Italian strap bugs. They are pretty common here in the Stockholm 
area where I live. I think they are common in all of Europe. Okay, we have 19 minutes left. I'm gonna hang around a little bit more here. Still hoping to see a jumping spider. My settings today are one hundredth of a second in shutter speed, f7.1 in aperture, which seems to be a good sweet spot with minimum diffraction and good sharpness on this lens setup. And ISO 400. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was 200. Yeah, I hope the photos are not too grainy. And then 132 on the flash. Actually, I'm gonna change now to ISO 200. To get minimum noise and then I'm gonna increase the strength of the flash to 1 16th roughly. Oh that's a bummer. Should always check the camera settings before starting a shoot. Otherwise you can be pretty sure that something is wrong <laughs> and that you won't notice until it's too late. Yeah but ISO 400 is, in, is not too bad. I've had situations where I had ISO at like 100,000 by mistake and then I was not happy when I saw the photos. Funny thing though is that they look okay when you look in the camera screen so you don't notice anything until you get home and, and look on the computer. Gonna drink a little bit of water. <clears throat> 16 minutes left. Already found a lot more insects than I had anticipated to find in one hour, which I'm very thankful for. Here we have something. Oh, it's a yes, it's a spider. Yes, it's a beautiful crab spider. I think eating a fly. I only saw the fly at first, because the spider has so good camouflage. Let's try to do a stack. Ah, it's shaking too much and he was moving his legs so I'm not sure how good the stack went but should have at least one pretty good photo I think even if it wasn't stacked 10 minutes left Really happy I found that crab spider. I think it's probably the first one this year as well. Lots of insects are hatching around now, I guess. That is why I see them for the first time. Now, a couple of weeks before midsummer. Now is really the prime time of macro photography in Sweden. Here I see another one of those 
black small beetles. I don't care that much about them anymore because I photographed them from every possible angle and also in every possible act with each other. <laughs> Here we have something very small. What's this? Oh, it's something interesting. But I lost him. It was like a very, very small bug that was like black and turquoise. Tur turquoise? How do you pronounce that? Oh, here is another one. Or a similar one at least. Oh, I was in stacking mode. Can I only exit stacking mode when I'm not looking in the viewfinder? Seems like that. Still not sure I got a good shot. Oh, it's some kind of weevil. I think it was probably a sibling of this one I saw just a minute ago. I guess they were both born around here. I mean, I don't know anything about insects, but I guess this is a child. <laughs> or nymph, I guess you say. Really beautiful. Still feel like I haven't gotten a really good shot. Spraying a bit. Ah, maybe it is that I can't turn off bracketing when I'm in preview mode. I have this mode activated where I always see the last photo I took for a couple of seconds. I think it's really useful in macro photography because then you can easier see when you're done with a subject, when you think you have a good shot. Yeah, I think I'm probably done with this guy. And we have six minutes left. Please stay around to the end of the video where Indoors Michael will go through the top photos and analyze why they are good <laughs> according to him. Could be interesting. Haven't been here much. Let's look around here. Time to fly. Won't even try to capture that guy. Would probably need a longer lens and uh, a lot of patience, which I don't have. Trying to see if something is sitting in this tree. Don't see anything yet.
Hmm, some kind of spider. Or what the hell is it? Oh, it was, it looks like a dead spider. I don't want to photograph that. Three minutes. Let's see if we can catch something in three minutes. Let's go back to my best spot so far, the tree ba back here. another one of these black bugs but he fell off oh here we have something which I don't think we have photographed yet or did we gonna try some bracketing here what's going on a different angle. This guy seems very cooperative so far. I'll try to get him from the side if possible. Okay, I'm gonna go out of stacking mode. Oh, maybe it's that I can't exit stacking mode when it's saving to card. Could that be it? Because there is something. Oh, now it's crawling onto my hand. Hello. Where are you going? Okay, he flew away. <laughs> Let's leave him be. One minute and 30 seconds until we get the studio analysis and the top three photos. <laughs> Stay tuned. There is something that flew away. <laughs> One thing that I did not find today is ladybugs. Usually I find lots of them around where I live. There is another of these black bugs. I think I already photographed that guy. No ladybugs around here. Thirty seconds. Will I find something in the last 14 seconds? Here's a forest ant. And here's something. No, it was a black ant. Can we get one shot maybe? And one hour is up. All right. Now over to Indoors Michael for final analysis and uh, yeah, my favorite photos. <laughs> Thank you for that Outdoors Michael and good job with the photo walk. Well, I've been looking through all the photos and editing them and so on and uh, I have to say when I did the photo walk I expected to get more bangers. Um, I had a little bit of bad luck because 
there were unusually many insects that I found and that I photographed, but many of the photos didn't turn out as good as I would have wanted. Out of focus, bad lighting, bad compositions, like mistakes like that. And yeah, sometimes you're not as lucky. But I got two photos that I was really happy with. First we have this weevil and I managed to get a really good stack, actually several stacks, but this stack in particular, I really love how it turned out. The weevil was sitting completely still, I managed to get a pretty deep stack. I did this one in, in Helicon, it actually turned out slightly better than in Photoshop. And yeah, I'm super happy with this photo. I love the sharpness, the composition, the colors, everything. And also this crab spider, this was actually not a stack, I didn't manage to get a good stack, it's just a single shot. And sure, the fly that he's eating is out of focus, that could have been better, but overall I love this photo, I think it displays the beauty of this white crab spider. And it's also a bit interesting because he's eating something. And two bangers in 60 minutes. I would have to say I'm happy with that and it is pretty representative of how many photos I'm happy with that I get per hour of macro photography. And uh, yeah, this is why I love macro photography. I don't think I would get two photos I really love in one hour in other genres of photography. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just love macro photography. Thank you so much for watching this video. Did you like this format? I tried to make it a bit more funny with the timer and with the counters and stuff like that to make it a little bit more video game-like and interesting. Not sure how that worked. Did you like it? Please tell me in the comments. And also, I really apologize for the video footage. I know it was really bad. The angle of my action camera was not right, so you kind of never solve my camera. Uh, that was really bad. I'm gonna do better next time. And also the footage isn't like super sharp and the colors aren't super nice. Actually I was using a DJI Action 2 camera and the default colors aren't super nice so I used a color profile and then the quality gets a bit lower. So actually after I recorded this video I actually um, bought myself a GoPro Hero 11. Um, I hope that I could get better results with this camera, so I'm gonna try it next time I do a video like this. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and please do subscribe if you haven't already and if you like macro photography. See you soon again.